Welcome to Advent of Code. Today we are solving today's problem, day 10 for 2022. Events 2022. Boom, 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 day 10. Let's dive in. You avoid the ropes, plunge into the river, and swim to the shore. Um, Elves yell something about meeting back up with them up river, but the river is too loud to tell exactly what they're saying. They finish crossing a bridge and disappear from view. Situations like this must be why the elves prioritize getting the communication system on your handheld device working. You pull it out, you pack it in the amount of water, slowly the drain from the crack and it's clean to us. It probably won't be of much immediate use. Unless, that is, you can design a placement for the device video system. It seems to be some kind of category tube screen and simple CPU that are both driven by a precise clock circuit. Okay, so I guess it's this is a graphical task, right? Uh, the clock circuit ticks at a constant rate. Each tick is, tick is called a cycle. Start by figuring out the signal being sent by CPU. CPU has a single register X, which starts with the value one. It's a person return instruction LXV, takes two cycles to complete. After two cycles, the X register is increased by the value of V. V can be negative. No op takes one cycle to complete. It has no other effect. The CPU uses the instruction and program your puzzle, but to somehow tell the screen tell the screen what to draw. The series following small program no op at X3 and X minus <laughs> five. Um, yeah, I guess, but I can't do anything about it, yeah. I'm annoyed, uh, there is a message in the chat that it's annoying to select text, well, I'm annoyed when I can't do that, it's somewhere wired way hard into me. Execution of this program proceeds as follows, the start of the cycle, now the structure begins, so during the cycle, access is one, uh, so the first cycle is in the construction. Okay, so we start with one. Um, the start of the second cycle begins during the cycle X to one. During the third cycle X to one. After the third cycle, the act extraction finish execution setting X to four. Um, at the start of the fourth cycle, uh, at X minus five, instruction begins execution. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can learn something by looking at the value of X registers around the execution for now consider the signal strength the cycle number multiplied by the value of the X register during the twentieth cycle and every forty cycles after that that is during the twenty five. Consider this larger program uh, the interesting signal strength can be determined as follows during the twentieth cycle, register X has the value twenty one, so the signal strength is 20 by 21, uh, during the 60s, uh, x is value 19, so single strength 60 by 19, okay, so, oh, wait, okay. Okay, yeah, this should be relatively easy. So this is our sample, which is quite long. Right, and this doesn't seem like too visual of a task, but well, okay, so we have sample. Um, you know what? This is the day when you go. Okay, so this is our sample, this is our data parse. Um, a big snow and number. Okay, so basically parse is data, star split lines, then a map V probably. Um, let Matches, um, so it's either no op or 
add x optionally slash d like this, right? Um, and we probably want this, 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 but not this. I think we can read this uh, percent. We'll check this if this regex work, but for now uh, we're probably going to keyword in D some arc parts lock. Okay. I'll actually case uh, ah, it's, it's okay. Um, what? What we but we need to test this first, and because we are in closure, we can do it uh, right in line. Now op and alex ten alex minus ten. So what happens? Nope, nope, new, no, new. No. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, in this situation, I can do this actually. But now, yeah, no, you can do this exactly because now the first one won't match, right? But would that work actually? It kind of works, but uh, parse long, would it? Accept spaces. No. Okay, uh, but uh, what we can do, we can actually do. No, nah, this is also bad. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, this is was this was good. Uh, so it's either no op, right, or add x. Space like this. So first, second, and third, basically. So like this. Uh, let's see par sample. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> ah, because I, I didn't change it here, yeah, of course. And yeah. Alex, no, Alex, no, yeah, cool. Okay, so this works. Um, now what we need is basically execution. There's also like after, during two cycles, after two cycles, it's like... <coughs> so we start with x at one, right? What, what does it mean during 20 cycles? During the first cycle, X is one. After the first cycle, the null construction finishes execution during nothing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so the way we are going to do this is, let's just add extra node before each add X, then we just should change register on add X could be more easy. Yeah, that's actually a good suggestion. But, um, what I was Sanjay, uh, what I was saying is, uh, well, ultimately we want a sequence of uh, like one, two, three, four, 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 five, like, like this, right? So we can probably reduce over. Um, again, uh, one, two, one, two, one.
I'm back and we can do this probably with simple reduce or loop or something like that. Um, yeah, the problem with reduce is, well, we start with, so x starts with one. Okay, so we start with value one, right? And And we take data here, and our fn um, is gonna be access and uh, command and arc. Case command, so if command is nope, uh, we're gonna conj sx, pick success. And if it's, um, x we're gonna conj as access well we're gonna conj the same value first and then um, right so this is What we get, uh, we get one, one, sixteen, five. I mean, with extra knob, it will be easier to count cycles. It's it's fine this way as well. Mm. And we start with add x fifteen, right? You know what? We, we can also. This is gonna be simple too, and we also want to have sample one, and sample one is going to be this. Um, sample one. Okay, so sample one, uh, sample two. Uh, you get everything. Okay, uh, right. Sorry. At the start of the first cycle. At the start of second cycle. Uh, add x three. Um, okay, so. The first, if uh, we count, uh, this is initial, this is first, this is second, right? Uh, after the third cycle. During the third, x is still one. First, second, third. Fourth. I mean, uh, <laughs> um, this is first cycle, this is second, and this is third. So maybe we, like, if we need 20th cycle, um, let's add let's make it this way right so this way this is zero cycle this first this is second this is third this is fourth no third sorry after the third cycle during the third cycle zero first second third yeah okay so okay um and now we need uh, what during the 20th cycle. Um, Twentieth is what? <laughs> uh, Like it has index 21, right? No, or 19. Ah, maybe we shouldn't be doing this. How do I get um, what? Oh, I didn't 
insert wait yeah because we need a uh, sample to actually um, Okay, no, no, uh, no. okay. Um, let's let's do this again. <laughs> this is first cycle, right? It has index zero. This is second. This is third. If I want to see third, sixth, and the third third has index two so basically if i want to see third i drop i drop what i drop two if i do this uh, and if i want to see third i drop three okay so basically what it means is This is access, uh, what we need here. Okay, and what we need is access drop 20, partition all 20, uh, 40, map first, right? Map read first. Okay, let's see what it gives us. 21, 21, 16, 18, 18. Yes, it seems correct actually. Um, but if I remove this, use it. Okay, the last one is. Yes, supposed to be 18. Yeah, okay, so it seems correct this way. Cool. Um, and, but, but the thing is, we have to also multiply it, right? Or we can zip actually them. Maybe you should zip. I don't know. No, this seems okay. Okay, this is him so long <laughs> now. Uh, the first is 420. During the 60 cycle, the register has value 19. Ah, because it's... Wait, what? Yeah, now it's more like it. Okay, and finally we... We use plus zero, right? Okay. Um, I did. I still didn't get power input. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the right answer. Yahoo! Hello. The X, yeah, nine, I, X. The first 28 is from the array, right? Yeah. Okay, part two. Now I hope it's like visuals somewhat, right? Okay. 
Yeah, this is like a tricky task only because of by one. I've already read in the chat that like this, the sequence starts with one and like the, the many people that got caught up on that. And like, yeah, off by one, it's uh, the worst of them. Okay, it seems like X register controls the horizontal position of a sprite. Okay, specifically the sprite is three pixel wide and the X register sets the horizontal position of the middle of that sprite. In this system, uh, there is no such thing as vertical position. If the sprite's horizontal position was this pixel where the circuit is currently drawing, then uh, those pixels will be drawn. Um, what? Uh, you count the pixels on the CRT, 40 wide and 6 high. This CRT screen draws the top row of pixels left to right, then the row below that and so on. The leftmost pixel in each row is in position 0. Um, and the rightmost pixel in each row is position 39. Like the CPU, the CRT is tied closer to the clock circuit. The CRT draws a single pixel during each cycle, presenting each pixel on the screen as uh, uh, cycles during which the first and last pixel are drawn and drawn to the power. Uh, so, because of time disappear instructions, the CRT drawing operations, you should be able to determine whether the sprite is visible the instant each pixel is drawn. If the sprite is positioned such that one of its three pixels is the pixel currently being drawn, the screen produces a lit pixel, otherwise, the screen leaves the pixel dark. Okay, so this is. <coughs> The first few pixels from the larger example above are drawn as files. Sprite position. Da -da -da. Begin executing at x15. CRT draws pixel in position null. CRT current row hash. Draws pixel in position 1. Current CRT row. Of Phoenix executed at x16. Sprite position. Boom. Begin execution uh, at index it just picks my position to and does not intersect doesn't intersect okay um wow that's a complicated scheme oh my god uh, allowing the program to run to completion because your teacher produces the following image render your I the image given by your program that what eight calculators appear on your crt middle of that sprite that's funny i got the correct answer but somehow i thought it was the beginning of the sprite must have made lucky of my one mistake. You probably have another mistake somewhere <laughs> that cancels this out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a very complicated scheme. What the fuck? Like, uh, it's middle, but it's also starts, like, pixel starts with zero, but sprite starts with one, so, yeah, maybe because of that. Um, okay. So do we have to now So what if we have wait What if we have like 1260 what does it mean like where is pixel position It's a cycle number, right? We have uh, 40 by 6, like 240 pixels, like a lot. Or is it for sample only? I don't understand. Or maybe like counting each 40th pixel like makes no sense in this case. We need every pixel, every cycle. 
So pixels are like modulo 40 or what? <coughs> no, it's for it is for that it was I think forty and six rows. Okay. Okay, so I guess we need um a function called access which is going to be basically this. So this is our part one. Okay, so part two is let access access pass data, right? So this is our So the first cycle, ah, yes, it's, it's right here. The first cycle is here. That's stupid. So I guess we don't need first cycle anymore, right? So it's probably like this. What about boundaries? Like if, if the middle is set for 40. This is stupid. But uh, yeah, let's, let's implement something. Uh, okay. Um, so we need to iterate over two sequences in parallel. Uh, one is going to be pixel ID, and the other one is going to be uh, this. So basically, um, probably for zip access range. So it's X and this is, I don't know, P, whatever, right? So P is pixel, uh, which pixel we are looking at. Um, X is, let's call it reg actually. Uh, we probably want horizontal, but, well, no. Yeah, I probably don't care about this. Uh, when, um,
much it's for to Okay, um, do I, did I at least, yeah, I, I guess I get the first right, but then not. Oh, so on second line, the position is like from Z, okay, okay, okay. So I guess uh, P is gonna be This is closure. Yes, does it look correct? Uh, kind of. So this is, wait, what? B okay okay no 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 we are going to use actually proper box drawing block drawing full block space okay and we are going to also comment this out Mm, no, uh, no, not this one. Um, okay, and I probably am gonna need uh, here code where this actually works. Okay, B G F R H R F U. Yeah. Okay, so it's B G. Oops. B G F R H R F U. Okay. Yay! Ooh. No, but uh, very strange task. So, like, I mean, I have nothing against this, except that it's not really fun because of four by one. Uh, but this has very strange logic behind it, like very, very strange. But well, whatever, right? I guess like if you've been running this events for how many? Seven years, one, two, three, four, five, six eight years you like there's limited amount of simple programs that make sense and then you have to invent like arbitrary stuff somehow uh, it's, it was fun though I, I remember there was a task like that somewhere before where you also have I, I remember because like I had a, a tick that every problem must output exactly its answer and nothing else but for problem like this you can't right you you have to print the letters and recognize them like you wouldn't run like a pattern, rec pattern recognition on this right uh so yeah i was disappointed but because it broke my nice scheme now i don't care about it so yeah it works um <laughs> What if we, I'm actually curious, uh, so if we do how Ivan suggested, so register, it could be bigger than P, right? If we do it like this, no. No, register could be the other way around. This. 
I'm not sure you can recognize letters this way, actually. No. Yeah, it's actually without uh, ABS you could do this. It's um, simpler probably. Okay, letter format is uh, the same every year people have AOC, OCR libraries. <laughs> yeah. yeah well. Sample one doesn't print anything as well. So are you saying that this, you know, the, about the same length actually sample and okay. Yeah, it would be cool if it was, I don't know, animated or something. It would, I think it would be nice. Like you can make like video signal sort of, but you send red, green and blue separately, right? And neither one of the channels uh, makes sense on its own, but if you overlap them, they make sense or something like that, I don't know. Uh, would be cool, would be cool. But uh, anyways, um, let's commit this. And that's probably it for today. I still have to publish yesterday's video and make a cover for this one. So yeah, well, an hour for change, <laughs> not three or four hours as usual. Um, so thanks for watching. Join me tomorrow for next task. Bye-bye.